We're all here for justice. Justice for the 99%, justice for workers, justice specifically for Colombian workers hurt on the job and fired by General Motors in Colombia. We're on hunger strike and have been now starting the third week. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the struggle that these workers are facing, that they've been engaged in already for several years. So these are workers that are from the General Motors Assembly Plant, Bogota, Colombia, and they've been injured on the job. From these injuries, they've been fired, and they've been left without anything. They haven't gotten workmen's comp, they haven't gotten the medical treatment that they need. So they've been starving. Their families haven't had enough to eat. They've been facing foreclosures. There are a lot of themes that are very similar to what we're, we're struggling with here in the United States as well. So these workers, they were in a very desperate situation. They decided to organize. They started the Association of Injured Workers and Ex-Workers of General Motors Colombia. They started occupying. You can, you can see Romeo's sign right here. Come forward for a second. They started occupying 412 days ago in front of the U.S. Embassy on the streets of Bogota. In, the, in Colombia, where it's very dangerous to be an organizer. They've received death threats. They've been out there on the streets since then. They've, had a, they've maintained a permanent peaceful protest. The week after Labor Day, I was in Detroit with Jorge Parra. He's the president of this workers association. He's in Detroit to bring the message home to General Motors. Their corporate headquarters are in Detroit that it's time for justice. Time for justice now for all these workers. So the 1st of August, when they when they actually completed their year of, uh, of occupation there on the street, they sewed their lips closed and began a hunger strike. So you can see, I've got a photo on me, there's photos all over of these workers with their sewn lips. It's ridiculous that these workers have to go to such extremes just to have their just demands listened to. Today, as I think you all know, is the anniversary of Occupy. We have a lot in common. 99% doesn't just mean 99% in one country. It means 99% worldwide. These workers experience today what we're going to experience tomorrow in a globalized economy unless we fight it now. It's there today. It's our future we're fighting for. On the way, we're going to go past the Chevy dealer. Dealers are franchisees. They're not part of corporate, so we're going to ask them to be with us in the community and join in sending the message to corporate GM that this has to be changed now. I have here petitions that have been signed by over 4,000 people worldwide supporting these workers. I'm going to deliver those to the management at Wentworth Chevy and ask them to forward that to corporate GM. Be with us in this struggle to join in the community to seek justice for everybody. So I'm going to go inside and we get there. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to assume anything bad about them until we, uh, we find out otherwise. Give them a chance to be with us. Would appreciate, however, if you chant and make a uh, very obvious show as you go by so they can truthfully tell corporate that Portland cares about justice and wants it now. Yeah. 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 The basic yeah. message, corporate wealth stole workers' health. Corporate wealth stole workers' health. We speak our streets. Who speak our streets? today by the uh, president of Aso Treco, the Association of Workers and Ex-Workers that were injured at the General Motors Assembly Plant in Colombia. The Spanish fights first, compañeros y hermanos de la lucha. Es para nosotros una enorme bendición contar con su apoyo. Jamás pensamos que nuestra lucha tan simple y transparente diera como resultado esta hermosa muestra de solidaridad. Definitivamente unió nuestro sentimiento con la misma causa de justicia que ustedes anhelan en, sus, en su hermoso país. That part in English says, brothers and sisters in the struggle, it is for us an enormous blessing to count on your support. We never thought that our simple struggle result in such a beautiful show of solidarity. It definitely unites our wish for the same cause of justice that you desire in your beautiful country. Me siento verdad, verdaderamente conmovido y agradecido por tan grande compromiso y cariño demostrado para con nosotros y nuestras familias. Como saben, solo somos obreros colombianos, pero con la firme convicción de luchar y defender nuestros derechos. Somos trabajadores como ustedes, pero a fin de cuentas trabajadores y hoy en el mismo mundo se unen en un solo grito de justicia para lograr que GM haga lo correcto. I 
feel truly moved and grateful for such great commitment and affection demonstrated toward us and our families. As you know, we are just Colombian workers, but with the firm conviction to fight and defend our rights. In the end, we are workers like you, and today we unite in the same world in a single call for justice and for GM to do what is right. Aunque nosotros no estemos presentes en sus acciones de apoyo, nuestro corazón y nuestras oraciones lo están. En nombre de Asos Recol y nuestras familias, muchas gracias. Although we are not present in your actions of support, our hearts and our prayers are with you. On behalf of Asos Recol and our families, thank you very much. Buenas tardes con todos y todas. Buenas tardes. It is important what we are seeing around. If we can see all the signs, we have a diversity of different messages. And that's what it is. Today is one year, or, or this week, a year of the Occupy movement. Right? Let's give it up. There we go. And the Occupy movement is pretty much all of us here with all the issues that are affecting our communities, our life, livelihood. And this, this, that's why today we want to especially focus a little bit on these workers and the Colombian workers because they are the example of what's going on with the corporate world, going all over the world and destroying, destroying the, the natural resources and exploit, exploiting all workers with cheap labor and with really, really terrible conditions of work. Happy birthday, Occupy! Alright, on this day we are all here in solidarity, standing with the uh, injured GM workers down in Colombia, where they have ag uh, occupied for 412 days now. They've occupied the U.S. Embassy down there, and they have one hell of an occupation going. <laughs> we stand in solidarity with them and with their struggles, and happy birthday, Occupy. Most people probably know, if not everybody, we actually have somebody that went on a hunger fast here, a hunger strike in Portland. Happy birthday, Occupy! Yeah. Yeah. We are the United Son! What? 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 We are the United Son! I really like that, thank you. <laughs> Hi, man. One full year, 365 days of absolute madness. And I've shared it with pretty much each and every one of you guys. And I'm happy to see a huge crowd of watchdogs hoping for a better future. So thank you for that. Yay for the Columbia! I actually did receive a message from one of the fellow hunger strikers about three days ago on Facebook. Uh, this is from Jorge uh, Andrade. And he said to me, uh, Hola, amigo. Soy de los trabajadores de GM de Colombia, también un heroica de hambre. Mucho gusto saber tu, de tu lucha. Un abrazo fraternal. And in English that means, hi friend. Uh, I'm one of the workers with GM in Colombia uh, who is also on a hunger strike. Uh, I'm very happy to hear about your struggle. Uh, it's like a, you know, a cause with a brother. And you know, it really meant a lot for me to hear that. But at the same time, you know, I was really excited to see people standing up for, you know, their, you know, human dignity and their, you know, right to justice. You know, it also, you know, hurt me a little bit. Because, you know, even though I went on a hunger strike for 55 days for the injustice going on here in America, you know, I still remember what it's like to be in Colombia, where uh, the general population is suffering from 35% of people living in extreme poverty. And knowing that here in America, we can have 20,000 teachers go on a strike in Chicago, and we have to worry about their leaders disappearing overnight. Yep. And so, I'm so glad to see that there's an interconnectedness that Occupy is now embracing, embracing to make sure that we worry about global justice happening everywhere. Because this isn't just a struggle that's dealing with you and me. This is everybody. And, you know, they deserve so much of our support. And so I don't want to see this in tonight. You know, I went on a hunger strike, and I was so glad to see so many people come out and sleep outside of City Hall with us and to uh, be out there for the 50-day rally and everybody come out and speak and share their stories. And uh, we let that to extend to every single cause because there are so many people who need us, and we don't have to fail them. Things you can do to help, get in touch with Corporate GM. Make a phone call, send them an email, write them a letter, 
any way you can find, talk to elected officials, uh, anybody you can find to get the message to corporate GM. Tell them make this right, make this right now. It matters to you as a consumer, it matters to you as a taxpayer. We want justice now. Get the message through to them. We've got people on hunger strike starting their third week. They're already sick. One's been hospitalized already. Their families are going hungry as well. Their children go without medical care. They can't go to the doctor if they have burns, they have illnesses. It's urgent, so please help. Those who can afford it, we have a, a means of taking up collections to try and uh, subsidize their hunger strike and their families during the hunger strike. So you can help financially if that's within your, your capacity. But you certainly can all help by raising your voices. Tell GM, make this right, make this right now. Corporate wealth should never steal workers' health. Thank you. And uh, while we have a very special cause today for GM Columbia, um, let's not forget that this is happening all over the world right now. Today is the anniversary of Occupy NYC. Today they're all being arrested. Um, they're forming a human chain around Wall Street. They're all getting mason arrested right now. So can we have a little um, a round of applause for the New York Occupy yeah. movement? Yeah. Remember that there's about 4,000 people running this planet right now, and we are 7 billion people. This is happening all over the world, okay, guys? Yeah! So come October, you know, we got 15,000 people last year. Let's double that this year. 